My name is Ty Franklin, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys my process on how I utilize ReSimply's built-in single-line dialer system to reach out to prospects to generate leads. And for those of you who are not familiar on what a dialer system is and how it works, it's pretty much a system that automatically dials phone numbers for you. Now, this is a good feature to have because it makes you a lot more efficient and gives you the ability to contact more people in a shorter period of time opposed to just single-handedly dialing each phone number on your cell phone. And being that the dialer system is already built in ReSimply CRM, it makes you even more efficient by not having to utilize an external software and it keeps everything more centralized and easy to access. And all you really have to do is download your list of property owners, upload it to ReSimply CRM, and then add it to the dialer system, hit call, and the software and the dialer would do everything for you. Now let's not waste any more time, let's jump right into it and let me show you guys how I utilize it. Once you log into ReSimply CRM, you're gonna come to your dashboard page, right? Now once you get to your dashboard page, we're gonna, to get to the dialer, you're gonna go to the left menu, we're gonna scroll down to marketing, and we're gonna select dialer. Now if you haven't already uploaded your list of property owners, addresses, and phone numbers, make sure you click the link below and check out my other video where I show you step by step on how to do that. But if you already have them uploaded and have your campaign set like we do here, once you get to this screen, what we're going to do is we're going to select the campaign that we want to dial, right? And right here is going to show the amount that was dialed and the amount that wasn't dialed, okay? You can toggle between those two and kind of see what you want to do. So the ones that weren't dialed, um, that's a, obviously that's what we want to go after. That's what we want to start calling. But if you want to go and redial the ones that you've already dialed again, then you can click on that and then go from there. So we're going to go to not dialed. And these are all the property addresses in our campaign. And what we're going to do, we're going to hit call. Now you're going to have this menu pop up here where you're going to have to set up some things before you get to this screen, right? So we got our script uh, set, selected here, right? Basic script. In order to get to this part, you're going to have to create a voicemail, okay? On the system, on the platform, you can record what your voicemail may be. In, in my example, I just said, hey, this is Ty. I'm reaching out about your property. If you're interested in selling, please give me a call back or text me at this number. Recorded that and I added here. So that's going to be the voicemail drop. Then the next thing you're going to do, you're going to select your group of phone numbers, right? So if you want to use specific area codes um, for a specific market, you can do that. Um, and it's pretty much going to do a round robin, which means it's going to alternate the phone numbers every time it dials out, okay, automatically. Then you can set up your abandoned call. I always put 20 seconds. You can do auto dialer or click to dial. Auto dialer is where it does it automatically for you. And then obviously you can select, you know, exclude from dialing either, any one of these. And if you already have statuses already um, selected, let's say for the numbers that you've already dialed and you redialing a list or a campaign, you can put these statuses that you don't want to call again. So for example, if we spoke to a seller and they said do not call me and we put that status as do not call, we're going to select the DNC. Um, if the number was disconnected, we're going to select that. If the number was a fax machine, we're going to select that, right? Uh, if the number is busy, we're going to select that. And those are pretty much the ones that I select. Everything else, um, I, let it, I let it go. Or wrong number, we can select that one too. So this is for whatever you put as the status after you have a conversation with the seller or with the property owner. And we're going to hit continue. Now once it's up, this is, what's gonna, this is what you're going to see. Up here you got the property address. You can hit the Zillow view right here. Uh, got some information here. If you want to turn this to a lead, hit move to lead. Property details, um, the owner's name, the mail, their mailing address, not their property address, but their mailing address is going to probably be either the same or different depending on the type of seller you're reaching out to on your list. The marketing details, um, you got related properties. So one thing I like about this is if the seller owns more than one property, it's going to show you their properties that that number is connected to and that seller is connected to. Um, activity log, obviously, and then you have the phone numbers, okay? And it's going to be all the phone numbers and show you, you know, how many times you reached out to that phone number. You can manage the phone number by changing it, um, you know, by updating it, you know, whatever you want to do. 
Um, and yeah, and then your script will be left right here in the middle and you can go through your script. So if you have a cold call or a virtual assistant that's going to be doing it for you, you can just upload that so you can have your script. Or if you're doing it yourself and you want to kind of stay on track as far as what, what's going on with the call, you can upload your script. Then you got your tags and lists and everything else. Now over here, this is the timer when you logged on to the dialer and got it started. Then you have the seller's name right here and then you have their phone number right there, okay? So this seller has three phone numbers, so it's number one, one of three. So it's gonna be dialing number one of three, um, and this is that phone number that they're gonna be dialing. Typically, the first number is gonna be, depending on where you use the skip trace, the first number is gonna be connected to, the, is gonna be the actual seller. The other two, I usually just have it up there just in case, all right? So based off of what I found in my research is by the time it gets to the third one, that's probably going to be a wrong number or something like that. They may have changed their number, but sometimes it is their number. So you just never know. It might be a home number or it might be another mobile number that they have. You just never know. But enough of that. We're just going to go ahead to get the dialer started and we're going to hit call. And watch, it's just dialing and calling on its own. And I'm going to show you my process. It's ringing, it's ringing. It's gonna ring for about 20 seconds. The call ended after 20 seconds because that's what I set it up to do. If I wanna send them an SMS, I can do it right here. Um, I can have, have my templates right there so I can automatically do it quickly. If I wanna type one in randomly, I can do that here. I can put notes here if I want to. Um, now here are the statuses. If the actual lead connected to the call they said, do not call me, um, or if it's the wrong number, this is what I do. So I'll say, put on DNC, let's say it's the wrong number. I will put, you know, lead connected, do not call, or do not, DNC the number. Not the contact, but the number if they have multiple phone numbers. Um, if you want to schedule another call, you can put there. If this is someone that is converted to a lead, you can go ahead and click that. It's going to move them to a lead. If they said they aren't interested, it's you want to hit not interested or the property sold and remove from all marketing so they don't get contacted again. Um, if the call doesn't connect, like in this situation, I personally, I use seller unavailable. Um, you can put anything, any one of these that you like. And as we're going through it, you'll see how I utilize it. And then pretty much I go call next number. If they have more than one number, I'm hitting call next number. Now it's dialing. If the number connects, it's going to beep. And then they'll say hello and you go from there. So no answer, I'm going to go ahead and hit seller unavailable, call next. Unavailable, seller unavailable, call next property because it ran through all three of those numbers. Just like that we call three numbers in like 40 seconds. Okay, for that one, it went straight to voicemail. I just said drop voicemail so it can drop that voicemail that I recorded, especially being that it was on the first phone number because like I said before, usually that first number is the one that's the actual seller. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit left voicemail and I'm gonna hit call next number. I'm not gonna hit call next property. If there's more numbers, I'm gonna call the next one. seller unavailable and if you want to redial them you can redial them right here so if you want to call that first number twice you can do that um, I found that helps as well and we're gonna to go to the next property I don't leave voicemails for every property um, what I try to do is I try to hear for the the voicemail message when I call when we call it to say the seller's name like hi this is John and if that's John then I'm gonna drop that voicemail but other than that I'm gonna just either redial it or I'm gonna move on
Ah, you've reached true standard. Roofing and solar. Please leave your message at the sound of tone and someone will be. Now that was the wrong number. So I'll put do not put on DNC. Do not contact that number. So we're going to call the next property. Hello. Hey, Miss Man. This is Ty. How you doing today? Okay. Good, good, good. I was reaching out to you about your property here on uh, Stevenson Road in Latonia. Seeing if you had any mm -hmm. interest in selling that property at all. No, not at all. Not at all. Do you happen to have any other ones in the area that you I might be know. open to? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Sounds good. I appreciate your call. Thank you. Hey, Christina. Ty, how you doing today? I'm fine. Good, good, good. I wanted to give you a call about your uh, your property here on Donovan Drive, seeing if you had any interest in selling that property at all. I just, like, literally came out of real good conversation to answer this phone about this property. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was bad timing. <laughs> and no, I'm not selling my house. I don't understand, like, why they keep calling. Like, I don't. I think, I don't know. Uh, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, know about they, but for me, you know, I, we buy properties in, in Clayton County, so I was just reaching out and seeing if you had any interest. That's all. Mm -mm, mm -mm, yeah. I don't. I don't know. Okay. Do you have any other ones out there in the area that you own that you might be open to selling? I have none. Okay. Gotcha. Well, I apologize for interrupting your convo. I hope you can get back <laughs> to it. I'll just uh, take you off my list here, okay? All right. Thank you. All right, have a good one. Mm hmm All right, bye. All right. So this one, um, you know, there we go. Now I'm going to just go ahead and put not interested as the status. And when you do that, you won't call them anymore. And then now I just go to call next property. So my overall opinion on the software, I believe that is best suited if you're uploading list of higher motivated or distressed property owners like pre foreclosures, probate, fire damage properties, water shutoff lists, so on and so forth. Um, I think that's where it's best suited for so you can spend more time honing in on those, those specific property owners. Um, but overall, I do like the software, I do like the feature. Um, not many glitches or anything like that. Everything runs smooth as you can see. It's very efficient. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my review of it. Uh, so if you are interested in utilizing the software or trying it out, I do have a link in my description for a free trial. So you can test it out for about a week or so and, and see what you think of it. And then also, if you do decide to move forward with the software, you get 50% off the first month, which is a good deal. So make sure you use the link in my description if you're interested in testing it out. But until next time, I hope you guys found some value from this video and see how my process is and how I utilize the dialer. Keep hunting those deals. I'll see you in the next video.